A Malaysian Prime Minister, Muhyiddin Yassin, has unveiled his new cabinet lineup, bringing politicians from the scandal hit UMNO party back into the fold. And there won't be a deputy prime minister, at least for now. Instead, Mr. Muhyiddin has chosen four senior ministers. And for more on Malaysia's new look cabinet, political analyst Dr. Chandra Muzaffar, he is president of the International Movement for a Just World in Kuala Lumpur. He joins us now. Uh, firstly, what are your thoughts on why there isn't a deputy prime minister at this time? There may be a couple of reasons. One, it is to avoid privileging one of the parties that is part of the coalition. It could be to avoid privileging UMNO, because UMNO is the biggest block within the coalition, because that may create problems as far as the others are concerned. And it's a coalition that is so fragile that it cannot afford to antagonize anyone or to create uh, more uneasiness amongst them. The other reason could be because the prime minister may feel that there is a need for greater coordination amongst ministries, especially given the experience of the last cabinet of which he was a member, the Pakat and Harapan cabinet. And this idea of appointing ministers to coordinate, it's something which um, has been done in Indonesia. So he has taken a leaf out of the Indonesian book, as it were. So Dr. Chandra, you know, he's been said that it has been an out-of-a-box cabinet lineup here. What are your thoughts on the four senior ministers? Well, if you look at the four senior ministers, they represent different uh, blocks or parties within the coalition. The significant absentee from the four would actually be pass. It doesn't have a representation, it doesn't have a representative amongst the senior four. But if you look at the four, they're all important in different ways within their own parties. And um, they have served before, so they have some experience behind them. And I think uh, what Mahideen has tried to do is to try to combine both experience, a certain degree of professionalism, and also, I think, most of all, the need to balance the interests of the different parties. Well, the Prime Minister has also announced a new portfolio for Sabah and Sarawak. That's on the sort of the eastern part of Malaysia. Is this Mr. Mohidin's way of making a special appeal to East Malaysians for more support? To some extent it is, because you know that the ruling party in Sabah is not with Mohidin's coalition. The GPS, which is from Sarawak, is working with his uh, coalition, but it is not formally a member of the coalition. And I think what Moedin is doing is basically responding to the needs and the interests of these two states. Since the last general election, a major issue that has come up is the Malaysia Agreement of 1963 and the demands from Sabah and Sarawak for more just and equitable representation. I think this is what he's doing. He's trying to accommodate them. Dr. Chandra, do you think with this um, announcement of his cabinet lineup, we can expect more stability? On the surface, it does indicate that uh, there could be greater stability for three reasons. Number one, there is a very clever combination of uh, experience and new blood. There is also, I think, some emphasis upon um, the different interests in the country. Of course, non-lay representation is uh, meager, but that is to be expected given that there is no major non-Malay political party or non-Malay political force within the present coalition. But even then, I think he has made an attempt to bring in non-Malays where he can. If you look at the people who have been appointed as ministers and deputy ministers, so that I think is yet another factor that one has to keep in mind. And uh, is also, I think, very cognizant of the fact that um, this coalition has to survive for the next three years. So political support, important, and for that reason is appointed individuals there who have some clout within the different political parties. But at the same time, and this I think is even more critical, he has kept away those who are tainted because he knows that this is what the Malaysian public will not tolerate. Tainted politicians in his new cabinet. They've all been kept out of the cabinet. 
Thank you so much for your perspective. There have been speaking to political analyst Dr. Chandra Muzaffar, president of the International Movement for a Just World in Kuala Lumpur.